guys, what's up? It is Preach as always. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've had a request from several of you guys to do a video kind of explaining what I'm thinking during some gameplay. Um, I wanted to get that done and I was trying to think of the best way to do that. Um, and I wanted to talk more about an objective-based game. I play a lot of Domination. I think Dom is a lot of fun. So I've got a game on Gunrunner and a game on St. Petrograd where I'm going to go through right here, tell you guys what I'm thinking. I'm not going to show the whole game because it just it takes forever and there's a lot of dead time and a lot of boring time where you're just sitting. Um, I can explain some of why you do that and a little bit of that is shown. But, you know, in the second game we get up by like 100 and something to like 12 and it just becomes the enemies camping in the back while letting us have the flags and the game ends like at uh, like 200 uh, something in the double digits like 40 or something it's silly um, so we're not gonna show the whole gameplay but the action stuff and I'll, I'll explain why I'm doing what I'm doing so without further ado we're gonna jump into that gameplay right now all right, so as you can see, it's a close game, but the enemy has all three flags capped where we've got it paused right here. And my objective is thinking about getting this B flag back because wherever we spawn A or C, we're likely going to get that back. So my thought is B. So I'm going to push up ahead of it because I know that they had been spawning A and likely where they're going to come from because they had just capped that. So my thought is to prevent them from getting to B so that we can have it from the A side. The problem is, I really thought some of my team would come up and try to cap B, and they are not. So I'm trying to watch that, waiting on my team to cap B, and I'm in a tight little situation here. My team's not doing it. So what you might not be able to hear right now in game is exactly how frustrated I'm getting because my team will not go cap B. Like, they're not even attempting to. So... I decide to go back as we've gotten farther behind and just go ahead and get this myself. Kind of pre -aim in the directions I think they could be coming from. See that there's a fight going on up there. But as soon as I get it, get off that flag because I know the enemy's going to be pushing it. So this guy doesn't see me and get an easy shot in the back. This guy's reloading. I shoot the pole instead of him, but we get him on the second time we peek back out. So now we have two flags we've got c we've got b so the whole goal here is to keep people from pushing towards b from a and i think i just glitched out there a little bit but you can see i'm just going to float this area right here and watch for people coming out of a and try to play my life uh, the reason I'm being so cautious and trying to stay alive is because streaks can make a huge difference in a game that's tight they still have the lead right now but we are catching back up a little bit because of having two flags at the same time. So you can see I'm just floating this area back and forth right here, getting kills because I know generally the direction they're going to be coming from. Now we get a UAV. That's going to help us a lot. That guy's coming from A again. Push back here. Nobody coming at the moment. I always check this left side in case they're trying for the long flank. Occasionally you get guys trying to be sneaky and play that direction. But then go back, peer back this way. And the reason I come back this way, in case somebody snuck through that house like that guy did without me being able to realize it, or somebody coming up train tracks and my teammates not catching them over there. But we're going to keep patrolling this area right here over and over and over again. And that's pretty much the entire goal. Hover around B. My team's sitting back on C, kind of playing scared and coming up to B. I've got one teammate pushing towards A, and the whole time I'm playing, I'm hoping he does not take that. Um, and here, my whole goal, I've got a VTOL. I didn't want to reach out that guy, stay alive, but he didn't see me escape over here, so watch the flank play, all right? They're looking towards B. Even though I get the hit marker of the miss right there, I've got the easy flank play right there and now look what we have we've got a chopper gunner we're on a merciless streak in the middle of this dom match so now my team is spawning a because they went back there and capped it that's not exactly smart uh the reason you don't want to triple cap is because generally what happens in that situation 
is the spawns get messed up. The enemies start spawning both sides or we start spawning mid map and have to watch out for enemies from both directions. And you can see me running back and forth a little bit paranoid about that right here. But the plan is get up here, get hidden in a spot where I can just bust out my chopper gunner. And you're going to see why sometimes I don't like streaks on these maps. I'm only going to get one kill, I think it is, with this chopper gunner. But watch the effectiveness of it in the game as our team's lead continues to increase. Look where everybody on the enemy team is at. They're all in a building. Flying around this chopper gunner right now and everybody on the enemy team's in a building. There we get a kill, but the rest of them are just hiding in the building. The beauty of that, with them hiding in a building like this, is that means they are not pushing the flags and they're not taking the flags. All the flags are outside. So even if they stay in there and try to shoot my teammates out the windows, they are not going to get any of the flags that we have back because they're all stuck in a building hiding from the chopper gunner playing scared. So now that's over, we're gonna go ahead and drop the VTOL right over B flag just eliminates any chance of them coming back out and getting it. And then we're gonna go try to push up and it's pretty much sealed that we're gonna win unless they triple cap for the remainder of the match now. So it's just about trying to get some kills and we get this guy out the window by pre-aiming him and that's the final kill of that game. So as you can see, get control of B flag, try to keep them from coming to it and make sure they're spawning where we want them to spawn so don't triple cap. Now, as we jump into yeah, Gunrunner, we're ahead that. 35 to 18 in this game. Honest, so I was a little wrong in my intro. Oh, he but was a weak dude. it's a relatively close game, but we do have the advantage. We've got both go, C and B again. And so my whole goal right here, I'm just pressing A area, trying to get them. The whole reason I push up right here is because I'm looking for a quad feed. I had three up. Normally, I would say never, ever, ever push up that far because of changing spawns, but I was looking for the quad feed. I was being a little bit selfish right there. That wasn't necessarily the best play for the team, but it worked out. I don't know what happened with me lagging up or glitching a little bit right there, but my team capped A, so now we have A and B, and they're spawning C. So now I'm going to push up towards C, just trying to get kills, not trying to cap C necessarily, as you notice, I don't even go to the actual flag, and that was an enemy right there. I don't know why I didn't shoot him. The yellow threw me off because during this game, I was playing with the that a really pretty triple kill? colorblind filter. I couldn't think of what it was. Um, I didn't like it, so I went away from it after this game because of things like that. I didn't shoot the yellow guy. But notice I didn't get on C because I want them to still be spawning back here in the C area. Uh, it makes me have a pretty good idea of where they are. Somehow I get this guy while oh being flashbanged by him right here, just, uh, flash, just by bro. predicting where I thought he would go, but then I get picked off from behind. But notice what we oh have gosh, now dude, when I, I respawn. Like that, we stayed alive long enough, stayed off of sea watching spawns to have a VTOL. I know it's not a high streak, but watch how effective this is in the kill feed. Because we were only double capped, so I know they're going to spawn C area. Put that VTOL over C, and it is just going to wipe them off the map. We're spawning A, so we have nothing to worry about there. And so now I can go to B, keep them from pushing on B after we cap it right here. I'm going to jump on it. Make sure we get the cap. Team's going to jump on it behind me. I'm going to get points for the cap, even though I'm not sitting directly on the flag. I'm watching this side. My teammates are watching the other doorway. And my VTOL is doing work outside. Look at that kill feed being filled up by the VTOL because of the smart plays. And now we have every flag. We're just racking up points. And my VTOL is still clearing everything out. And... I rap back here just trying to find somebody to shoot because I honestly got bored by my VTOL wipe in the whole map. And so that's it. We were up 113 to 42 at that point in the match. We ended up winning 200 points to something in the double digits, just owning. And I'm just throwing a clip in here so I can continue talking, talking about 
those games. But as you can see, you want to control two flags, pay attention to where spawns come from, and then you can play between B and whichever side they're spawning and really do a pretty good job of just controlling the map and controlling where their spawns are and killing people pretty easy because you know where they're coming from. And that's the general idea when you are playing Dom, trying to win the game and get kills. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and these little clips right here as I close out the video uh, that were used in another video recently. Thanks for coming. Preach out.